All right, so I was just plotting along here, and then FedEx called. <laughs> I've got a package. Oh yeah, I got this. Let's unwrap this thing. So. Oh. Oh yeah. This is pretty awesome. Well, I guess nobody knows any idea what this is. And, uh, you know, maybe I will not spoil it. And just unwrap this thing. And find out what it is. Well, for starters, it's related to Chia. <laughs> Wait, why am I unwrapping it? I can just cut it open. Oh yeah. That's so satisfying. supplies just strapped on. Interesting. <laughs> What's going on here? Starters, yeah, these are server power supplies and uh, one might assume that this is a server, but is it? Well, let's find out. Nice. It actually has feet. I uh, wasn't sure if it's gonna come with the feet or the rails. Oh yeah. Woohoo! This is awesome. Um, why am I so excited about a server? I don't know. I kind of always thought the server cool are cool. Um, it's particularly like Dell servers. They it's just like their industrial looking design. A little bit banged up, but that just gives it character, makes it look rugged and stuff. 
Hello, Kotaro. He decided to bring his toy here. Just can't play by himself. Best. Quietly bringing his toy. Yes, let's play together. I also got a new toy. Yeah, this tape is a little bit annoying, but oh well. I don't know, this is just so cool. Look at this, I'm just like... Whoa! Hot swappable. How big are this? Oh my gosh! That's a server grade. It's uh... It's not SATA, it's SAS. So it might actually be really serial attached SCSI. That's dope. I think I might be able to do like, if I put two of them in rate zero, I might be to be able to plot one plot. Is it one plot? So this is like 146 gigabytes. Um, yeah. But also, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. This is like a small form factor. And yeah, and it's an SSD, that's dope. I can actually use this for operating system, maybe not for platinum. Maybe this is also SSD? Yeah. I don't think the other two are probably... Full Harder's purple. Nice. Actually, I have no idea what purple is. Um, I know there's like red, which is like uh, network attached storage. And then there's like black, which is like performance. I think there's like green and blue. Oh, reliability. I think that's what it is. I wonder how many RPMs is this? And yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, it's SATA. <laughs> it's not even SAS. Surveillance. Oh, okay, I see. This is uh, purple surveillance. Hmm. I wonder if this was a surveillance. Nah. Why would they use a server for? This is probably the same thing. Cool. But yeah, if it's surveillance, I wouldn't expect to have like uh, uh, seven thousand RPM driving here it'd probably be like uh, 540 oh I see I guess yeah so for surveillance it has to be 24 hour use that's why it's called reliability and I guess NAS is not always 24 7 right in region NAS is more like sometimes region sometimes on writing dope Yeah, I'll probably look like a noob. I'm not exactly sure. Should I be pushing this in, then closing it, or should I be closing it and then... Oh, I can't really push it in if I don't. Okay. Yeah. A bit dusty in there. So, yeah, push it in and close it. Okay. Oh, yes, it's unlocked. That's what I was wondering about because there's no front panel, so there's no key. And I was hoping this thing would not be locked. Don't want to break that leg. I... Love it. This is so dope. I love this kind of industrial stuff. <laughs> Looks like some kind of crash side bar reinforcement. Nice. So this is uh, only a single CPU. There is a different model that comes with two CPUs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'm thinking maybe replacing this motherboard 
with a newer one that's not made for this um, because uh, yeah kind of maybe maybe I want more CPUs um, I kind of I don't know if I need more CPUs but I thought it would be also cool to have more CPUs and um, and yeah that motherboard is not ma not made for well that motherboard is like a different model it fits in, in this case but I'm not sure if it's gonna work with this power supply because this power supply actually is pretty I'm not sure yeah there's a lot of cables here and uh, maybe it might not have enough connectors maybe it will have enough connectors and also I think that other motherboard will not be able to work with this front panel let's kind of paint here yeah and uh, yeah if it doesn't work with this front panel I might need to buy a different front panel or try to make it work let's uh, get this guy plugged in so I've got the one power cable here and uh, in theory that should be enough because it's supposed to be like this is supposed to be redundant power supply I mean like it only has one CPU it doesn't use that much power and it's like 1000 watts of power supply and, supply and power so well anyway um, let's see here let's uh, plug this guy in right next to these other ones green light oh okay 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 uh, it's already running I mean I think there's nothing there oh cool I think I hear the hard drive booting up what if I push the power button interesting so it just powers on as soon as I plug in the power wonder if I swap out the motherboard and it powers on by itself even without the power button oh cool system button yeah I heard that uh, server enterprise servers usually take longer to boot up than yeah, regular, regular desktop computers because they do like a lot of diagnostics unlike your home computer which you don't need to oh it says power input for PSU 2 is lost. Well, yeah, I will plug in one. Um, hmm. Okay, anyway. Cool, cool, cool. How did I turn it off, though? Oh, there we go. Cool, okay. Let's plug in the monitor and everything. Yeah. So, it does have a VGA port. But, is there an iGPU in here? I don't know. Is it gonna work at all? I mean, I also don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to like remote into this guy without uh, ever having a display going here because from what it looks like there's no GPU unless it's built into the CPU or somewhere on the board um, so hopefully there will be something on the screen Booting up. Configuring memory. Done. Have no idea what that is. But there is some video output, so obviously there must be some kind of GPU somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, I was still doing diagnostics. Post configure menu. Okay, let's do 
Let's do that. Rate controller bias. Go to device map. Okay. Uh, Initializing firmware interface. Is that like BIOS? Initializing complete. That's what I mean about server motherboards just taking their time. TG or I have no idea what the okay error set up oh, set up huh. okay view error history map name map interesting okay there it goes no boot device available current boot mode is set in bias okay please enter Okay, to turn the boot, uh, I think to set up boot. Okay, let's try to take a look at BIOS. <laughs> okay. Memory setting. Yeah, that's full memory. This might be just as slow. So, yeah, maybe. We'll test it out. Oh, it has video memory, 16 megabytes. Cool. So, processor. So from what I understand, then there's about four cores on this processor, and uh, yeah, four cores, four threads. I guess no hyper-threading. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess there's nothing interesting here. Um, let's turn it off and see if I can get more RAM into here. That'll be cool. see in which order I'm supposed to be populating the RAM sticks because there is a uh yeah there are six slots and um It's a triple channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, so I could put one here. They have a triple channel going, or I could put add two of this maybe to the first channel and see if that will be of any good. I suppose I should unplug this computer before installing RAM sticks, but but um, let's just pretend it's unplugged. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I put it in backwards. That would be ridiculous. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was funny. At least DDR3 it's easy to tell if it's backwards or not. DDR4 they decided to put the notch almost in the middle, but not in the middle, and you can't tell that easily. Okay. 
Should I even bother closing it? Oh yeah, I should. I also noticed there's this plug in here that goes in there and I think that tells the motherboard if there's a shroud. Because obviously, if there's no shroud, there's no way this CPU is gonna stay cool. The fan is just way too far away from the CPU. Memory test detected. Dim mixed with uh, R Dim. Okay. Check. Oh, that's it. That's the end of it. <laughs> so this is a boot menu. So can boot normal. I don't know where is that in at all. And I don't know what this is. Some kind of embedded stuff. So I'm just gonna go with the front USB. So that's where I have USB plugged in. And this USB has Windows install files in it. So yeah, I'm just gonna install um, Windows 10 for now. And uh, just to test it out. Then later probably gonna install Linux and uh, see how it works. I'm gonna try to compare it to this guy right here. And um, yeah, see how it does. So that was fast. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, Windows 10, you don't need license, you can just install it for free. And uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. Um, let's see, let's check the, let's change the resolution, is it possible to change it? No way! That's it? That's all you can do? I'm gonna have to install a video card in here, this is unbearable. Um, <laughs> interesting. Uh, let's, uh, let's do device manager. Yeah, so it has some basic video card somewhere. And then uh, quad core, there you go. Pretty slow, but it's there. And then let's see here. There you go, four cores. and uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Oh yeah, I also wanted something interesting, like the other, uh, the, the small 146 gigabyte drives were not showing up when I was installing Windows. What's up with that? Oh, oh okay, one sec. Uh, let's do... <laughs> Uh, 
Right. Interesting. So that's the... What the hell? Why is the system file here? It's supposed to be on this drive. That's weird. Uh, yeah, so those other ones are not in here. That's the two, three terabyte. Or is it? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Why is this one so small? I thought both of them are three terabytes. Um, yeah, and this is the SSD. Or oh, this, this might be also RAID zero. That's why they both recognize a single disk. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'll screw around more with that. And, um, get it to Plots of Chia. That's the plan for this. Um, I'll try to figure out what is best for Chia plotting. Is it for, to have more cores? Or is it better to have faster cores? Is, uh, is DDR3 okay for plotting Chia? Or is it uh, really hampering the performance? Oh, and also before I do that, I was gonna show how much did this thing cost. Uh, let's see here. So, interesting. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought these services would cost a lot of money. Um, but I found this guy on eBay for uh, 270 bucks. Then uh, with shipping it came out to like 380. I think shipping and taxes. Um, so yeah, I was pretty happy about that. Um, well, actually, I don't really wanted the server, but I thought, no, actually, I really wanted the server, but they're all expensive. But since this is, this server is so cheap, I thought like, hey, it will be good opportunity to grab one and just mess around with it and see see what it, what it's all about. Um, and yeah, even this price price tag here says um, three hundred dollars. So yeah, this is a good opportunity to mess around with it. Is it a good deal? I don't know. Uh, like on, on, on eBay, I could have just got like one of these boards X99 and put a two... Yeah, this is also like newer socket. You can put DDR4 in here and uh, you can put more more CPUs, more cores and probably gonna get better performance out of it. Um, but I guess the nice thing about this guy is because it has already drive base and it has a SAS controller which I thought I needed SAS controller uh, for the Enterprise SSDs. But then I realized maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't, I can go without them. I can just buy different SSDs and use them on the, not as much. Uh, anyway, so we'll work more with this than I go with it. For now, I'll keep farming with uh, this other computer for now. So I spent quite a bit of time for now with this server. And the conclusion is, yeah, it, uh, it's, it can't plot Chia very well. Uh, the main downfall is the lack of SSD. Even uh, with uh, two of these uh, 15,000 RPM drives. Oh yeah, I found out this is actually not an SSD. It's a hard drive. Uh, 15,000 RPM hard drives. Uh, even two of these hard drives in RAID 0. Um, they're just no way near as fast as SSD would be for plotting. They would take like 10 hours per plot. Um, so it's just not usable. And uh, before I close the video, I remembered. I didn't show this. This is pretty cool. This is how power supplies are installed and swapped out. Just slide them in here and they lock in. Isn't that dope? And yeah, this power supply will run with with one power supply installed. Either one of these will do. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. See you next time. Right, photograph.